Hey guys, and welcome to our Air Slim Pack review. We have reviewed a ton of backpacks by Air, but this is hands down the smallest and slimmest of the bunch. And because it's so small, I definitely think this backpack is only for certain people in specific situations. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about in this review. All right, let me just give you the gist of this backpack. So Air makes sleek urban products designed for city use. And this particular product is great for someone who's looking to carry things to and from work, or if you're just, you know, on your daily carry, if you just don't have that much stuff. They've got like this hipster mixed with business aesthetic, but it's super minimalist. You've only got this one area, this one main compartment. In this compartment, there's a ton of organization, but the real identifying, distinguishable character of this bag is just how small it is. Because while you have lots of pockets, you don't have a lot of space. It's only 8.5 liters. Like for instance, I love to have a sweater like carry with me all the time, and like it's it's a it's a tight fit, and it's uh, it looks a little on the bloated side for sure. I love the feel of Air products though. We've got extremely comfortable shoulder straps, really nice padding, really nice ventilation. They just got the real chunky zips. They give a real satisfying opening and closing experience. And we got the smaller YKK zips up here. And then Air really has been investing a lot more into their materials. I love the cushioniness of this fabric here as well as the cushioniness, yes, you heard me right, the cushioniness of the laptop compartment. And we're gonna get into all this in much more detail in the next sections. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty details, let's start with the overall pros and the cons of the Air Slim Pack. Pro number one's gotta be the look. We got the wrinkly sort of look in the front with the ballistic nylon, but it's also just super slim and minimalist and it just looks sexy. And pro number two is going to be the main compartment. It's organized without having too many pockets and you can access most of the pockets without even opening the bag all the way. Just go ahead in there, grab what you need. But on the flip side, I got a few cons about this backpack as well. Con number one is that briefcase mode looks dumb. And con number two is going to be the lack of back padding, which means a lack of ventilation and kind of a lack of comfort. All right, let's actually break this bag down. Let's get into the front of the Air Slim Pack. I really dig this Air Aesthetic. See what I did there, the Air Aesthetic. Um, this is a 640D nylon with a poly U coating, which means it's highly weather resistant and highly durable. But it also provides a functional feature where like you saw, where if you wanna pack it out a little bit more, it gives you a little bit extra capacity. So it hits the form and it hits the function. My name's Aaron, the guy behind the camera is Tav, and we are Nomads Nation. Dance for me, baby. And if you're totally into backpacks, then smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And, and then for the only other part, we have this top zipper right here, quick access, YKK, non-waterproof, but a real sharp zip to it. This is an ideal pocket for more fragile items. This is where I keep my sunglasses and my phone because you have a really nice, soft material right here. And it runs to right about here, so a decent amount of depth to it as well. All right, now let's talk about the middle of the Air Slim Pack. Some of the highlights being no water bottle holder, this side handle to go into briefcase mode, Air's typical zippers, a top handle, and a small but very well organized main compartment. Let's break it down. And I wanna highlight that this is advertised as a backpack that can go into a briefcase mode. And it's very true, but with a caveat. Cause as you can see right here, we're in briefcase mode and yeah, yeah. See, just the whole system, just a little kind of off. Like, I guess, like I said, from a functional perspective, it works. You go ahead, slide that in there. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Don't fall. Urban life, am I right? But then like, I don't know if that's the vibe you're trying to go for. You ever see anyone walking around with a briefcase like this? I don't think so. It definitely seems like this was sort of an afterthought, like a last minute kind of addition. It works, but it's not phenomenal. As for the comfort, really comfortable, nice little padding right there, nylon webbing, uh, and the same situation with the top handle. One interesting note is that there's no exterior water bottle holder on this backpack. Uh, it's definitely got a really slim profile. I mean, if you see, like this is a regular 16 ounce water bottle. It's it's basically like larger than the entirety of this side panel. So it just wasn't gonna work out. 
The air zipper experience is a controversial one. I'll tell you why. I quite like air zippers because of these big chunky YKKs, right? Really nice look to them, the aesthetic with like that matte sort of finish. And they are lockable. You can go ahead and pop one zipper into another, just like this, and then therefore the zips are together and it can help deter a crafty foxy thief. But on the negative side, some people hate this. You hear that? The air jingle experience like Santa's sleigh. I'm cool with it, but it's just something you should be aware of. But I love using air zippers, easy to pull, easy to open. Let's talk about the main show though, the main compartment. You have a little bit of limited access. Like I would have preferred actually these zippers just went down a little bit further. You can only get to here. I would have liked to like right there. So when you're trying to actually get on the bottom, it actually kind of caves in on itself a little bit. Uh, we got a larger compartment right here. I got my Moleskin notebook in there. This extends all the way to the bottom. Okay, so there's a nice depth to this compartment. Just kind of like a throw all, just throw shit in this pocket because it's quick access, easy to grab. We got some smaller pockets here. I got a smaller notebook. I love my notebooks. I'm actually thinking about buying a third notebook. Is that too many notebooks to have? I like the material in this pocket. It's more like a shiny sort of material. It feels durable. You got a little bit of elasticity on the pocket right there. We got a pen pocket, basic, holds a pen. And then we got another pocket here, which yet again, elastic sort of opening. I have my portable battery and cable in there. Another cool thing about this compartment is the actual accessibility. Check it out. To get the stuff that's in your bag, you don't really need to open it the entire way. Easy as that. Everything is accessible, whether you need your pen, whether you need a smaller notebook, because I got lots of notebooks. No matter what, you can grab it, zip it up, good to go. I forgot to talk about this pocket. I missed the zipper pocket. This is a good pocket for things that you want to keep a little bit safer. That's why I keep my wallet there. And I also attach my keys to the key ring. This is not my absolute favorite key ring solution because it requires a little bit extra work to get to. So for instance, if you actually want to grab your keys, you're going to have to pop this bag off to actually access that compartment. And then you're going to have to unzip. So there's like three steps to get your keys, which, which certainly irks me. And then on top of it, it's just like a super basic clip. Um, um, it gets the job done, but overall, you're gonna have to put in a little bit extra work to grab your keys every single time that you need them. Moving on to the back side, we got two compartments. This compartment right here is just kind of like a big old elastic pocket, and big, enough, big enough for like a big old book, right? And then the last compartment is the laptop compartment. I got a 13 inch MacBook Pro in there right now, but it's big enough for a 15 inch laptop. I love Air's laptop compartments, or at least their most recent ones, because A, they're suspended, okay? So it's lifted to about like right here. So in a situation that you drop your bag, your laptop is gonna be more protected. But I also just love the materials, and that material is used not just on this side, but actually when you get into the interior, like on the other side of the laptop compartment, it's used here as well. Overall, I'm a big fan of this entire main compartment. Yes, it's tight, but I think there's just enough organization and just enough minimalism to totally make this main compartment work. I'm a big fan. All right, finally, let's talk about the back of the pack. A few really important things to take into consideration. We've got the shoulder straps, luggage pass-through holder, and no back padding. Let's talk about it. Yo, it's true, man. They're my favorite shoulder straps in the game. That's the most backpack nerdy thing to say, but it's no competition. They are so cushiony. They are so soft. Some people like a more dense shoulder strap. Not me. I like them soft and cushiony like a cloud. A little bit of ventilation there with the mesh material just helps with breathability. Moving on down, we got some basic hardware and we've got a dangle stopper down here to make sure that the dangle's not flapping around all over the place. Always appreciated there. Moving on to the actual back padding though, we have a luggage pass through hole right here. Okay, you're a luggage person, you just pop that bad boy in. But let's talk about one of the things about this backpack that I'm not insanely crazy about and it's the lack of any back padding. Most backpacks and basically every air backpack that you've ever reviewed has a back padding system that sort of is a reflection of the shoulder straps. Same material, same cushiony experience, same breathability, same awesomeness. This bag though, they skipped that. There is no cushioning, there is no back padding, there's no EVA molding. Now I see where air is coming from, but like, dude, it's an 8.5 liter backpack. It's a light load. You don't need the extra padding. To which I definitely kind of understand, but I think that it would have been nice to have, and I think it would have been nice to have, especially at the price point that it is. 
Okay, now we're going to wrap up this review by talking about who we think this backpack is for and who can take a pass. But if I think you can take a pass, I'll give you a very specific recommendation for a backpack that I think is better. Let's go. I think this pack is for you if you're looking for a super small and super sexy everyday carry. It's pretty obvious. This backpack is also for you if you're a minimalist. 8.5 liters is not a lot of storage, but if you just got a few tidbits of gear, you don't need a 15, 20, 25 liter everyday carry. You just live that minimalist lifestyle. This is your guy. If that sounds like you and you're gonna make a purchase, we do ask that you use the first link in the description. That link makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps support our channel. But let's talk about who can take a pass on the Air Slim Pack. This might not be the pack for you if you're like, dude, I love this Air product, but it's just not quite the right size for me, I don't think. It might be too small. If that sounds like you, no worries, dude. Air has other backpacks that look just like this, but are larger sizes. In the description, there's a link to a review where we compare the Air Day Pack 2 to the Air Tech Pack 2. Because I think that one of those might be a better fit for you if you need that extra space. Take a look at the review. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching this review. Did you have fun? If you found this video useful, we would be absolutely smitten if you could hit that like button. It just tells the YouTube robots that this is a worthwhile video. Also, if you already own the Air Slim Pack, let us know what you think in the comments. Do you like the brief transition storage system solution? Does the lack of any back padding bother you? We'd love to hear your comments below and it helps everybody in the community and the internet as a whole figure out which backpack is best for them. Thanks guys and we'll see you next time. Bye.